My friend John Golden, another photographer and one of great talent, asked me to make a box for a knife as a wedding present for some friends of his. John being a good friend, I said yes. This is a story about that. I started with an idea of using white ash for the box with a Kaizen foam insert for the knife. I found a suitable piece of ash and took it to the jointer to mill one face and one edge flat and true. Then at the table saw, I squared up the other edge. From the flat face, I used my shop-made Japanese-style marking gauge to score a line about a quarter of an inch down the length of the board, then took it to the bandsaw to resaw the board. Once I had some resawn boards, I took them to the planer to finish the milling process. With my stock prepped, I added an auxiliary fence of eastern red cedar to my miter saw to act as a zero clearance fence to help with any tear out, as well as giving me an accurate reference for making perfect mitered cuts. I cut the four sides of the box of the miter saw, then took the pieces to the table saw to cut two grooves in each piece. One groove is for the bottom floating panel, and the other is for a sliding lid. When I glue up miters like this, be it a box or say a picture frame, I like to use painter's tape to act as clamps. I've used band clamps and the like before, but tape seems to be the simplest and cheapest option. I added glue to the miters and folded up the box, adding the bottom panel as I went, making sure not to add glue to the groove so it would still float, allowing for wood movement. While the glue dried on the box, I had cut an ash top while I was resawing, but I thought the box needed a little more pop. So I resawed some quarter sawn white oak I had and planed it to thickness to fit in the groove. John had given me some image files he wanted on the top. I headed over to my new laser engraver, the Nage Master 2S Max 30 Watt, and started the engraving. I'm still learning this machine, but I quite like it. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in adding one to your shop. I had tested the laser on the ash top first and it came out well, so I decided to finish both lids and John could decide which one he liked better. I found this old router base to be a good looking radius to put along the bottom edge. The tops also needed finger pulls to easily open the box, which I did at the drill press, then headed to the disc sander. If your sandpaper is gunked up, I've found these rubber sticks work great for cleaning the sandpaper to extend its life. Mitered corners like these aren't very strong, especially with such little glue surfaces to mate. So I took the box to the table saw and used my miter key jig to cut some kerfs in the corners. I took some white oak stock the same thickness as the kerfs and headed to my little bandsaw to cut some keys out while demonstrating how to block the camera with my hands. I added glue and installed the miter keys. When the glue dried, I cut them flush first with the dazuki. Then I wanted to demonstrate using a more flexible flush trim saw 
and last showing it at the disc sander, being sure not to get too close to the box and leave circular scratch marks. I finished the keys off with my Mercaderos, which is the best random orbital sander on the market, and Merca has the best Abernet paper. Whenever I can, or remember to, I like to add my brand to pieces in hopes of better connecting the user to the artist. I figured since this box is meant to store a knife, I'd use a food safe finish. I make my own, but Total Boat just came out with this wood honey and I like it better than my own. Plus it comes in a honey bottle shaped like a bear. With the box finished, I needed to fit the knife into some Kaizen foam. I laid out the knife and traced it with a sharpie. This stuff is pretty cool. It has different layers so you can cut your outline with a razor or an X-Acto blade and use your finger to dig under one of the layers to remove it. We fit the knife in the box and closed the lid. I was partial to the white oak lid, but let me know what you think in the comments. John bought this knife from Ricky of the Perfection channel. This isn't a collaboration video, but if you are into knives, it's a really good channel. I love the Hamon showing off the San Mai construction. Oh, and the recipients? The son of one of my photography idols and his new bride. His father, William Albert Allard of National Geographic fame, has been a big influence on my other career of photography. So that's it. A box for a knife. I really like it, but be sure to tell me what you think in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching.